So starting with fold one, we have a diagonal plane and we're folding this top triangle down. In fold two, we have a horizontal plane and we're folding this triangle from the top half down into this triangle right here. In fold three, we have another diagonal plane and we're folding that bottom right corner up into this triangle. And then we have one hole punch. So if we draw it on the previous folds, it ends up on paper on all the previous folds. So we know it exists right here in our grid. Now we'll work backwards. So when we undo fold three, the piece of paper that was initially folded up is this triangle right here in light green, and it includes our orange hole punch. So that one needs to be reflected back down over that diagonal plane. So it'll end up in that bottom right corner. And we can see that that green hole punch ends up on paper on fold two and on fold one. So when we draw that same diagonal plane right here in our grid, we can reflect this orange hole punch over it to end up right there. Now when we undo fold two, the piece of paper that was initially folded down was this triangle right here in pink. And the reason you can tell is if you drew that same horizontal plane from fold two right here in fold one, this is the piece of paper that was folded down. And since that paper includes both of those hole punches, both of them need to be reflected over that horizontal plane to end up right there. And both of those end up on paper on fold one. So when we draw that horizontal plane here in our grid, both of these hole punches will be reflected over that line. Now when we undo fold one, all four of these hole punches exist on this triangle that needs to be folded back up. So all of them need to be reflected over that diagonal plane. So we'll draw that diagonal plane from fold one here in our grid. Both of these pink hole punches exist on that diagonal plane, so we'd just be filling in the other half of those hole punches when we undo that fold. This orange hole punch would be reflected over right there, and this green hole punch would be reflected over to the top left corner. So that's our final pattern of hole punches, and that matches up with answer choice E, so E is the correct answer.